Welcome fellow plant enthusiasts, I'm Steven from Steve's Propagation Corner and I'm excited to bring you another essential episode of The Foliage Files. In this series, we dive deep into the secrets of plant life, learn practical tips for caring and nurturing our own green companions, and explore the incredible diversity of plant species from around the globe. Now, when it comes to being a plant parent, we all know that meeting their watering needs is a top priority. But here's the thing, there's one essential step that often gets overlooked, and it can make a world of difference for your plant's well-being. Can you guess what it is? That's right, it's soil aeration. If you're anything like us, you probably encounter at least one plant with super compacted soil. I'm talking about soil that's as hard as a rock, causing water to simply run off without being absorbed. It can be frustrating, but fear not. Soil aeration is the solution we've been looking for. Soil aeration is the process of providing an essential air supply to the soil, allowing your plant's roots to breathe and thrive. Now, you don't need to aerate the soil every single time you water your plant, but there's a good reason why you should be doing it every so often. In the wild, worms and insects are nature's soil engineers, constantly shifting and breaking off clumps of soil around plants. But indoors, these critters are usually absent, leaving our houseplant soil a little stale, except for when we water it. So, how do we create those vital pockets of air in the soil to prevent clumping and help our plants flourish? The answer lies in manual soil aeration. Throughout this video, we'll explore different methods to aerate your soil. We'll guide you step by step, sharing practical tips and tricks to make your plants happier than ever. So join us on this soil aeration journey and unlock the secrets to healthier, more robust plants. Get ready to say goodbye to compacted soil and hello to a thriving indoor garden. Together, We'll bring life back into your soil and your beloved houseplants. Let's dive in. Transforming your potted plants into thriving, vibrant beauties is just a few simple steps away. Picture this, you delicately wield a slender wooden dowel or a chopstick like a magical wand, bringing life and energy to your soil. With a flick of the wrist, you gently insert the dowel into the soil, about halfway down the pot, and then slowly withdraw it like a graceful dance. Repeat this enchanting process in different spots until you've shattered any noticeable clumps. But this isn't just any ordinary act, oh no. This is a secret technique that unlocks the hidden potential of your plants, infusing them with vitality and radiance. By aerating the soil, you create a symphony of benefits that will leave your plants singing with joy. The harmonious combination of enhanced air circulation and improved water drainage provides the perfect stage for your plants to showcase their best performance. With each gentle maneuver of the dowel, you break apart compacted sections, giving your plants' roots the VIP treatment they deserve. It's like opening the gates to a world of oxygen, moisture, and nutrients, allowing your green companions to indulge in a luxurious spa day. By aerating the entire container, you're rolling out the red carpet for optimal growing conditions, ensuring your plants have front row seats to their own success stories. But let's not forget, my dear gardener, to handle this sacred task with care. You must channel your inner plant whisperer and approach with a delicate touch. Like a master artist, you must be mindful of the depth and force when inserting the dowel, avoiding any mishaps that could upset your plant's delicate roots. Remember, it's all about finesse and grace. Now, here's a secret for you. Breaking up these dry clumps in the soil is an absolute must. Think of it as rescuing your plants from an arid prison. By freeing roots from compacted soil, you prevent them from feeling suffocated and isolated. Sure, there might be a tiny risk of minimal root damage, but trust me, the rewards far outweigh the risk. Just treat those roots like precious gems and use your gentlest touch. By faithfully incorporating this technique into your gardening routine, you become the hero your plants need. You become the guardian of water penetration, distribution, and root access to essential resources. It's like giving your plants a superhero cape, enabling them to flourish and thrive beyond imagination. Now, how do you know when your plants need this magical soil aeration? 
Fear not, my green thumb friend, for I shall reveal the ancient art of soil assessment. Grab a trusty stick or probe, and with a sense of curiosity, gently probe the soil. If it emerges clean, it's time for hydration. Your plant craves water, so grant its wish. But if you find soil particles clinging to your probing instrument, rejoice. The soil retains enough moisture to keep your plant content. Just remember, moderation is key, as overwatering could lead to the dreaded root rot, a villain no plant wants to face. Ah, the delicate balance of life. Monitoring the soil's moisture level is your secret weapon against the perils of underwatering and overwatering. By using the probing technique, you become the master detective, deciphering the clues hidden within the soil. Your reward? The satisfaction of knowing that your plants are drinking to their heart's content, shielded from the dangers of root-related issues. When it comes to choosing the perfect potting mix or soil medium, you must become a matchmaker of the plant world. Understand the needs and desires of your green companions. Some plants crave moisture consistency, while others desire a bit of aeration magic. Knowing your plant's preferences enables you to create a bespoke environment that enables their growth and well-being. There are a ton of different potting mixes and soil mediums out there. From Coco Choir to Pun to Perlite to Lika and beyond, the choices are extensive. Using different things like Coco Choir or Perlite to aerate your soil can be really helpful if you have plants that like well-draining soil. However, it's not great for all plants. Plants that like to stay moist won't really benefit from adding in a medium that would minimize soil clumping. While this can prevent the dry clumps, you may also be watering on an annoyingly frequent basis as your planting medium will not hold as much water. So, if you have plants like ferns, peace lilies, or ivies, it's best to stick to aerating your soil with a stick instead of using other mediums to do it. When it comes to how often you should aerate your plant's soil, there's no set rule. You will need to learn to assess soil compaction just like how you learn to assess soil dryness. When it comes to caring for plants, there will always be a learning curve. And just how you took the time to understand the needs of your plants such as how much humidity or sunlight they may need or how often you need to water them based on the conditions of your home, you'll have to learn when to aerate the soil. Remember, my dear plant enthusiasts, that observation and attention are your superpowers. Your plants will give you hints, signs of poor water penetration or excessive drying, begging you to come to their rescue. Embrace your role as the guardian of their root environment a protector of their growth and vitality. In the end, it's all about one thing, ensuring your plants lead lives of abundance and radiance. Soil aeration is the key that unlocks the door to their ultimate well-being. So go forth, my charismatic gardeners, and let your plants revel in the magic of aerated soil. And that's a wrap, my fellow plant enthusiasts. We've reached the end of our journey on how to aerate soil. I hope you found this video helpful and informative and that you're now equipped with the knowledge to take your gardening skills to the next level. Remember, gardening is not just about nurturing plants. It's a way of connecting with nature and finding joy in watching life grow. So, whether you have a small balcony garden or a sprawling backyard oasis, keep nurturing those green spaces and let your love for plants blossom. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more awesome gardening tips and tricks. And if you really loved it and want to show some extra support, consider leaving a little something in the tip jar using the super thanks feature below. Your support helps me keep making more quality content and sharing my love of plants with you all. Now. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Did you find this video helpful? Do you have any questions or tips you'd like to share? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I appreciate your feedback and love learning from my fellow plant enthusiasts. Thanks for tuning in and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Remember, keep growing and keep thriving. See you in the next video.